that's an opening. Oh, what's up, guys? PS5 released it. Figured this would be a very good game to show it off. I'm not good at these games. So, these Souls games. I've only played Dark Souls 3, really. And I wasn't very good with it. But, um, I still want to give this a try. Seems like a very fun game. Okay, um, uh, I'm just gonna name him Ultima. That's always my go-to name on things. Let's see, where are the options? I feel like I have to go with Knight. And this looks a little bit like a Devil May Cry character, jeez. Yeah. And that's why I went with in Dark Souls, so. Isn't there one that heals? I think that's the one I want the grass jelly. This it's just a starting gift. I don't know how long it lasts, but honestly, um He's gonna have a helmet on, so does this stuff really matter? I just wanna look at the options, you know. You know what? How, how do you uh, test the vocals? I'll just go that way. And that way. Let's get right into the gameplay. King the Twelfth by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer, the sixth Saint Astria with her knight Gal Vinland, and Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Okay, that was... 
very it just like that just r ropes you in. I shall guide you to the fissure. Ooh. Oh, looks, this looks so good. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Oh, here we go, here we go. Um, oh yeah, this thing. This teaches me how to play R1, the standard attack, okay. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, three hits to kill them? Jeez, in Dark Souls 3. Took like one hit for the first enemies. Let's how to sprint, good to know. We're gonna save stamina because attacking takes stamina. That one's the guard, good to know. Can I climb? Hello. Yeah, circle is to dodge roll. Jeez. This combat is very fun. I, feel I need to be more careful though, but. Oh, it's dark in here, I'm scared. Someone's gonna get me. R3 is the target. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. We didn't do much damage, but wow, I got hit. It's embarrassing. This gameplay, I mean, it doesn't look like I'm doing much right now, obviously, but it's super fun. Nice, nice. I'm so scared I'm going to turn a corner and there's just going to be a guy. Will this tell me how to use items? I think it's square. Yeah. I was playing Dark Souls 3. I accidentally pressed square and just wasted a healing item. And it sucked. I vault over railings. Where is there a rail? Oh. I hear screaming. That is not good. You want me to vault over this? Oh, over this. I, I got you. Oh, I should have examined the remains. No. Gotta climb back up. Please. Okay. Can't climb back up. My mistake. Oh, yeah. Circle alone is to back. Uh, come at me, bro. Right, I'm so glad he missed because I played myself right there. Ooh. Oh god. Oh, god. I got myself into a bad situation here. Oh, I swear you come from. Get out of here. How do I know which item is for healing? Let's see. Okay. Pretty much everything here is for healing. I will use one of these. Is this like the save point? Yeah, it's like the campsite. Oh no, it's, oh, it's a quick load time. I know we've seen that in all the videos, but still, actually be experiencing it, it's so impressive. Heavy at night. This is a good experience. I'm excited to play more of this game. I'm not going to be streaming this game because I'm so bad at it. Wouldn't get much story done. But... Wait, what was it? L2 to parry? Yeah. And then R1 afterwards. Where's an enemy to test it? Oh, hello. I was early on that. Okay. I, parrying is something I'm gonna have to practice, but I, I the, the environment in this game, the atmosphere is so good. I got it. I got the parry. That's sick. That is sick. 
Oh, this is to dual wield. I'm guessing I do more damage if I dual wield. Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's why I get an attack. Ah, that's satisfying. Is it? I I didn't play the original one, but this feels like a very good remake. Oh wait, I hear some. I hear footsteps. Is someone running at me? That was my own footsteps. I hear breathing. A little scary, dude. Hey. How is he just standing there? He was asking to die. One thing, I want to look at like the menu in this game. This is designed so nicely. Wow. One thing, I guess like it auto save. Oh, no, no, it doesn't auto save. You go to like the teleport things or whatever, I think. See, that's another reason I this isn't something I want to stream like my first playthrough of one because I'm bad and two because I still have so much to learn so it could be so frustrating to watch me go through the whole game oh hello hey get out of here get out of here Enter fog. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna enter the fog. It looks like there's nothing else I can do here. I could examine the corpse really quick. Oh, why oh, are you waiting for me? That's cheating. Get out of here. Yeah, I remember I got told, like, with the original one, or, like, with the older Dark Souls games, the fog, that's like a loading screen or something. That's crazy how they did this. This is incredible. PS5 is just like gaming and consoles have just really evolved. I'm happy to see it. A boss fight? Oh, God. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay. Well, <laughs> the first you died screen didn't take long to get to. Should I just end it here? I don't know. Am I supposed to die there? Cause it's a cutscene. Oh, she looks cool. Can she join me? This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Volataria. Get the way this dude's built. The Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. Um, okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to die, and no, I feel like I was. I like this. I like oh, so yeah, that is the point. I have to get souls to reclaim my body. That's really cool. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls, or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. Okay, the whole concept of saving is a little unclear to me. I feel like this is how.
I'm gonna explore this area a little bit. I feel safe here. Oh, okay, guy. That the same guy? What happens if I touch it? It's sealed. Are these like all symbols of the boss fights? I mean, or boss enemies for the game, or? I don't know. This game. You knew here. Are you here for my services? Very cool to me. The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls. I can eke out a living, and with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? It's, it's a good deal. Um, I don't really need items. I might as well repair equipment, right? There we go. At least he's honest. I need to stop rolling. <laughs> yeah. So this is reminding me of like all the previous tips. That's cool. That equipment. Um. Okay. Yeah. This is a lot to read. I'm, I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, maybe I'll read a little bit. I'll leave messages with a touchpad. Press the lock. There's a lot of cool features in this game. Hey, the beginners are near. Put a cat, let's use magic. Okay, cool, cool. But how do I learn magic? Do I just like buy it? Do I earn it? I guess the way to find out if I buy it would be to go talk to that guy again, right? It's hey, okay, I know what you say. Oh, and there's weapons. No oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I didn't mean to end the conversation. What's all this? Oh, okay, cool, cool. No interest, eh? Okay, I'm just gonna go here and then I'll end this video. I just wanna see if there's like a cool cutscene to end on. Oh, yep, looks like there's gonna be a cool cutscene to end on. Oh, dragon. This thing looks sick. I want to fight it when I'm stronger. Please tell me I get to fight it. Look at all these dudes he's showing off. He's like, I'm going to eat these guys. Okay, well. I don't have much else to say besides one if you have a ps5 i recommend this game because the visuals are great the atmosphere is great um the gameplay is really fun and if you want a challenge this game gives you that if you don't have a ps5 yet i hope you can get one soon and also don't don't miss out on astro's playroom it's a it's a free game it really lets you take advantage of like, like all the controller features and it is great. It's actually really fun. It has a lot of good platforming elements. I might make some videos on that game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the PS5. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.